Hello and welcome to MySmarterHome.com. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Smart Lock Ardwolf A2 A20. Sorry. And this is going to be a brief review in which I'm going to give you as, many, as much data and as many specifications about this smart lock as I can. If you look below the video, there will be a link to my website where there is a lot, where there is a review, a written review, which is far more in depth than this. Basic specifications. OK, it's manufactured by a company called Ardwolf, who are based in California in the USA, although they're also, I think they're originally in China. First sold in March 2016, so it's about a year old. It's a very new um, smart lock. Weight, 5.4 pounds. Dimensions, 11.2 by 7.9 by 4.3 inches and you get a warranty of a year. Methods of entry. What can you use to open this lock? You can use a keypad, a key, and a fingerprint. Unfortunately, you can't use your smartphone. Home automation. Now, unfortunately, this smart lock does not work with any of the main home automation systems as we can see there nest apple home kit z wave zigbee amazon echo and none of those security and lock features it hasn't got a security rating it has got a privacy feature you can't unlock it remotely but it has got an auto lock feature but it hasn't got an anti-tamper alarm This device isn't weatherproof. It only comes in silver and it's stainless steel. In terms of installation, you can use one tool to install this. You can't use your existing deadbolt. There's no voice prompted setup and it's powered by four AA batteries. So finally, should you buy one? Let's have a look at a few pros and cons, and these are taken from the people who've written the reviews and bought the item. The pros are that it's very solidly made. It's easy to install, and it's got accurate fingerprint recognition, and it's very good value. The cons are that the keypad has no nine or zero, which is very weird. Pin codes can only be eight digits. There's no flexibility there. You can't have like a six digit pin code or a four digit pin code. The software that controls this is a little bit basic and there are some very poor instructions for programming it and setting it up. So there you have it. That's my data and specification review of the Ardwolf A20 Smart Lock. Remember, if you want to go and read a much fuller review of it, please click on the link that goes to my website. Otherwise, thank you for watching.